hello guys welcome or welcome back again to my youtube channel if it is your first time here you're welcome uh, my name is Bemi Olatunji I make videos about my profession which is med lab science so if you're interested in day in the life of a med lab scientist life of a med lab scientist and basically any video related to medical laboratory science then this is a channel for you definitely click the subscribe button I'm a part of my family okay so Today's video is going to be like a continuation of my last video. So I got some kind of um, complaints, okay, from my last video. A lot of you said the video was too short, you know, you did not understand, you know, as much as I want you to understand and that's fine. Thank you for reaching out. So that's why I have decided that, you know what, this topic is actually a very broad topic okay it's not a topic that a video will be just fine and then i'm going to um, start a series called the hcpc registration series okay so i'm just going to divide the um registration process into parts and then just talk about a particular um branch per video i hope you understand i'm actually going to be starting from the beginning which is that the documents you need to actually apply for HCPC registration. That is what today's video is going to be about. So I'm going to be explicit about each of the documents that is required of you. Uh, the first document I'll be talking about is your HCPC application form. Okay. So for the sake of this video, I have it printed out here. It's you know it's something like this. Okay. It's actually a I think it's up to 10 pages. The form is up to 10 pages. So how do you get this form? Good news is that you do not pay for this form, okay? It is free. Log into their website and you're going to see the form so you can download it. Now, this form, like every other form, you need to fill it, okay? So you can decide to print it out and then fill it with a pen. But if you're going to be doing that, make sure you use a black pen because that is what they required. I'm going to look for where they put it on their website and I'll insert it on the screen. So you need to use a black pen and you need to write in capital letters. Now, if you're like me who does not have a fine or nice handwriting, you can decide to fill it electronically. So basically you just download it, probably download it on your laptop or download it on your phone and send it to your laptop. Then you, yeah, there's actually room for you to type in the, an, um, the answers to the questions so while you're filling your form you should just be very careful try not to make a mistake try not to contradict yourself okay because um, there are some questions that might be asked twice or there are some questions that will be asked and then like um for instance like when you graduated if you put another year and then you know you part of the document you need to send is your certificate and your certificate is reading another year is going to be a problem so just be very extra careful while you're sending while you're filling the form proofread and cross check and cross check okay so that you are not making any mistake because when you make a mistake you're just going to delay your application the second document i'll be talking about is your hcpc course information form now this form you can also download it from your from the website it is there the course information form is very different from the transcript okay it is not the same thing so basically your transcript um you also get it from your school so they are going to on your transcript they will include all the courses you did how many units and your grades okay at the end of the day at the end of the transcript you're going to they're going to show your final um result like your final grade like your final cgpa okay but in your course information form that the hcpc needs you download it from their website now send it to your school the first thing you need to do is to call your hod call your department your hod your supervisor or just anybody in your department they're going to um guide you so i one of my friends who graduated from one school like lautech that school is actually you know it's an old school so they've had a lot of people probably they've had a lot of people apply for this um when she called she said she just paid a certain amount of money and you know they gave it to her but in some other school it was different i have a friend who went to a private university she said that it was a different case entirely her hod asked her to you know type and fill the form bring it to school and they will stamp it for you because it is very important that that document is signed and stamped by your school that is the only way hcpc can verify that 
you know it is um, authentic the next document i'm going to be talking about is a proof of identity so hcpc wants to know to be sure that you are who you claim you are okay so they need like an id card so you can either use your international passport okay or you can use your national id card so by your national id card um it must be the permanent one the one that is like on a plastic um not the temporal no i don't think that them i'm not sure but i don't think the temporal one is um allowed so you should get your permanent um, national id card or if you don't have that just try to process your internet i think international passport is the best for me because if you're applying for hcpc you're planning on traveling you're planning on leaving the country and you obviously need your international passport on the long run so it's just an opportunity for you to do it earlier so if you could get and process your international passport then send that um send the photocopy like i said do not send um, the original of any document because they're not going to be giving it back to you so documents like your transcript or some other very important document that you know you need do not send the original just only send the photocopy proof of address so there is a portion in the form where they will ask you for your address it's, it's written there even under that you need to provide an evidence of your address so most of the time you could use a utility bill like maybe your NEPA bill but the thing about NEPA bill is that most of the time the name on the NEPA bill is not your personal name so you can't use that document but if the name on your NEPA bill is your name then feel free to use that but then the one that's like easiest to use is your bank statement because your bank statement contains your address so and it contains your address and your name so don't bother about don't um they're not interested in the amounts you have in your bank no that's not the purpose of them asking for your bank statement they are just they're not asking for your bank statement they just want to a proof of address okay so just you know just put that you can just use that as your proof of address if your probably your nepa bill or any other thing is not written directly in your name you also need to send documents that prove that you have the qualification you claim to have your certificates okay so if you have graduated you most likely you must have gotten your certificates so you need that certificate and you know your practicing license so your license must be up to date you we know how um, license has to expire some licenses expire and stuff like that so your license has to be up to date send your um, you need your practicing license and your certificate of results to prove that you are actually um, the professional that you claim you are the next document I'll be talking about is a letter of recommendation so um, for you to be um, registered on HCPC, there's a part that they are, go they are going to ask you about your professional experience you need to have like some form of working experience so if you've not had like working experience at least if you're in the health field while you were practicing as a student like while you were, were still in school you would have been exposed to clinical postings so if you do not have any experience yet like you've not worked at all you can still do it but you need to um you need to meet up with the people who you worked under while you were a student people who taught you while you were a student so you need a letter of recommendation from either your working experience or while you were a student now um not just that you need your professional um recommendation letter while you get that okay discuss with the person who you want to use as your recommender that you'll be needing their email official email so hcpc does not accept any email that is not official any email that has dot um at yahoo.com or at gmail.com no they want the one that is um that they want the one that is official for instance at maybe abroad.org or you know that shows that okay this is actually real so um while you get your recommendation letter don't forget to tell the person to drop your to drop his email so that you can also fill it in the form because there's a place they are going to ask for that they are going to ask you for you know the email the address and also the email of your recommender so you're going to fill it there so on their own time when they've actually started um, processing your your documents when they've started they're going to send an email to that official email to confirm that the information you provided is true now not just that you provide your recommendation letter there is a part in the form this is it here i don't know if you can see it yeah 
this part they actually ask you to write your professional experience okay so you're going to write what you've done what you did while you were working there what your work schedule was like you know you just write your professional experience okay so that's that is going to be the next video i'm going to tell you how to write your professional experience but you also need to write that while you still provide a recommendation letter from your recommender and his email instruction is submit at least one so if you have just one working experience that's fine if you have to that's fine okay but do not just write a working experience and you do not have an email to back it up so the final thing i'm going to be talking about is a proof of english um proficiency so you know that to be hcpc registered means that you're likely trying to be able to work as a medical laboratory scientist in the uk uk is an english speaking country so it is important that they know that you can speak english now there's a lot of where a lot of people don't know some people think you need to write the ielts or tofu you know it's not compulsory okay so now while you're filling the form there's a part that they are going to ask you is english your first language if you know that if you are from a country like nigeria or any other country where english is like the official language the language that they use to pass information like official language is english like nigeria tick yes do not tick no if you do not have any plans on dropping your ielts or tofu result so you can choose to write the tofu or the ielts or you choose not to so click yes that english is your first language now you just need to support that with a su supporting document from probably your school or you can even declare it by yourself but i think um stuff like this just try to get it from your school but you can also make a declaration that you declare you call you write your name um your study and all of that and then you just declare that you know english was the language you were taught in you communicate in english and that english is your first language okay or you can also as well get a document from your school that will show that you studied in english so such documents you know different school varies but most of the time it has to do with the registry you get such document from your registry so what you just need to do is probably write a letter to your registrar telling her that you telling him or her that you need a letter to prove that english was your first language that you were taught in english they're going to give you that letter it's going to be letter headed you know it makes it more believable when it's from like an official document from your school so um after you click yes that english is your first language you just add that document with it so that's like a proof that english is your first language but if not if you already have if you want to take the ielts or the tofu that is fine the minimum score for your ielts um to practice to be registered as a biomedical scientist is seven with no um component less than 6.5 now if you want to go for the tofu you need to have at least a hundred over 120 for the tofu uh, internet based test um, they're not going to accept any tofu that was taken in the UK So if you want to use a tofu result ensure that it was taken somewhere outside the UK If you want to use your English proficiency you either when they ask you if English is your first language you click no Then you will not put there's a place where they even ask you they say if no you will not write the scores Okay, your scores for your Exam your tofu or your IELTS or any other exam you want to use but they said that it is going to be your soul responsibility to prove that such exam english exam is actually comparable to the ielts or the tofu now hcpc wants to be sure that the documents you drop are actually true that they are actually original and they are true that you're not lying so you would have to um after you get this document every document apart from the hcpc um the one you downloaded from their website that's the main application form and the course information form um you must certify it so who can certify a lawyer a judge a notary or anybody of good standing in the committee community can notarize it saying can certify it saying you know this is the original document seen by me i'm going to put what should be written on the screen so make sure you um ensure that it's the exact same words that that person writes okay it is on their website um just you just check through their website you're going to see all these things um then the person would sign and write 
um, date with his contact details, okay, and also write his profession. If you have any question, feel free to ask me in the comment section, or you can email me or you send me a DM on Instagram, and I'll be sure to answer, okay? Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.